A big hello to everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on one of these fun videos. Today I have an amazing and beautiful design for you guys and I cannot wait to share it. So I'm getting straight to work by removing the old material with my nail drill. We're not taking down a lot of length, but about as much as has grown out. And we're leaving my client's nails in the square shape, which is the most comfortable for her. My client's nails naturally grow downward and have this beautiful natural C-curve. Thanks to this, they don't need a lot of volume created with material. So I'm filing everything down, but leaving a very, very thin backing of material, which is there for a little more protection for the nail plate. Further, I'm taking my nail file and forming the free edge of her nails. I'm removing material on the sides of her nails where I couldn't quite get to with my nail drill. And I'm also checking the thickness on the tips, making sure there isn't any excess thickness or unevenness. And then just a little bit of filing on top for adhesion of the new material. This client hardly has any dry cuticle. There is a little bit of dry cuticle, but it's very thin and easy to push back by simply using an orange stick. Therefore, when using my nail drill with this client, I'm being extremely careful. When a client has super thin and flexible cuticle, you really want to take your time during the cleanup in order to avoid any injuries. When doing the cuticle cleanup, I like to start off by using an orange stick and create somewhat of a pocket there. This way the nail bit can smoothly move without any problems. Because my client's cuticle is thin, the pocket here isn't very deep. Therefore, I'm really only using the surface of my nail bit's edge. I'm not poking her skin with the nose of the bit, but rather turning the drill at an angle. With this angle of the camera, it is quite difficult to see underneath the cuticle. However, when I'm cleaning up this area, I'm always looking at this pocket area of the cuticle. So do know that it's super important to look down at the cuticle area and not above it. When cleaning up the cuticle, I usually have the RPMs at about 20 to 22,000. After cleaning up with my nail drill, I'm removing the dry cuticle with a pair of small scissors. Scissors with a thin and sharp edge do perfect in removing cuticle, even when the cuticle is really thin. After removing the cuticle, I am thoroughly dehydrating her nails, applying a non-acidic primer and a layer of a rubber base coat. I usually use this base coat only under extensions, but today I decided to test it with gel polish. This base has medium consistency, which I would say is pretty much the perfect consistency for leveling out nails. I'm coating the base coat in a thin layer and then adding a few drops for leveling. As I mentioned earlier, my client's nails don't need a lot of volume, so I'm not adding very much product. My goal is to create an even and smooth area for our gel polish. Today's design is going to be a beautiful combination of baby blue and grays. I really love this combination of color because it's both soft and elegant. And though blue and grays are colors we associate more with winter, I think this is a super pretty choice for spring.
After coating her nails, I'm removing any stickiness and buffing the center of each one of her nails with a super soft buffer. Then I'm mixing a non-wipe top coat with a black gel paint and drawing a small little heart right in the center of her nail with a dotting pen. This pen makes it super easy to create the top of a small heart, and then you can go in with a very thin brush and pull the sides down to create a precise line to the very end tip of the heart. I've let that cure underneath the lamp for about 30 seconds, and then I'm taking a gold chrome powder and going right over our little hearts. I got this idea from these cups here, and I just thought they were so cute and simple, and I couldn't wait to turn this design into a manicure. Now I'm just cleaning up from any excess chrome powder and they're ready. When you have areas that need to be coated in a glossy finish and a matte finish, I recommend a matte top like this one here. It's not velvety, but rather satin, so once it's coated, it has a very smooth and glossy top coat-like feel. So matte top coats like this one do exist. They're typically non-wipe and pretty liquid. I'm coating her entire nail in the matte top coat and then once they've cured, I'm accenting the little hearts in a glossy finish, bringing back all of their shine. Sometimes less is more, so we decided to do these cute little hearts on only one hand. What about you guys? Have you ever used a dotting pen? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you liked today's video, then please give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.